Hey Taurus, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? Um, we're going to do your weekly reading for the 11th through the 17th of February. Okay. Um, I will tell you that there is, there's two specific things going on that I've noticed um, in some of the other readings. Um, there's a contradictive energy going on and there's also more of a internal type of energy going on so there might be conflict within um, or something specific is going on with the person that's watching the video so we'll uh, we'll look out for that but anyway um, we'll get started here I have pre shuffled the decks here and we'll do our three shuffles this is the angel tarot deck by Jane Wallace I like this deck because it's very colorful and very the cards are a little bigger easy for you to see all right we'll get started here okay so what do we have here all right we have the three of swords and we have the four of wands all right, um, the Three of Swords typically can be about heartache of some kind or a broken heart, but it can also mean that your ego is fighting with your heart, okay? So it's a battle of ego and heart. And the Four of Wands can be about a release, um, a release of responsibility, freedom, or feeling like you have a solid foundation. And it can also be, it can be a, a marriage card. So maybe there is some heartache around a marriage or you're feeling or there is some internal debate going on between, again, your ego and your heart right now, maybe within a marriage. Let's see. All right, we have the Eight of Wands, so there's some incoming, some fast communication. And we have Temperance compromise, patience, healing. Let's see. We also have the King of Pentacles, somebody who's very generous with their resources, intelligent, and feels and is very abundant, isn't really looking for anything more, but if it were to fall into his lap, he'll take it or she'll take it. But this is a very generous, generous soul. And then we have the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm seeing here is there could be, I think the three of swords is more of a, just based on what the, the energy feels like right now. I feel like that's internal. I feel that that's a struggle between ego and heart and it could be about communication with this king of pentacles or it might be 
traveling to to see this king of pentacles or this king of pentacles is coming to see you and that would be happening fairly quickly <clears throat> with the the eight of wands energy and if this king of pentacles earth sign capricorn taurus virgo is coming towards you maybe you're just you're not sure about that I feel like the communication that's coming in is going to give you some sense of of peace I mean we've got with with the Queen of Swords this is somebody that's you know very independent who has gone through a lot in her life or his life depending on you know depending on who we're talking about here but I think the Queen of Swords energy she's an independent she's an independent queen you know she's strong she knows what she wants she speaks her truth and for that matter so does the king of pentacles so there could have been a truth spoken a around a a marriage or this is the communication that's coming in is a truth around a marriage and there's some heartache and going back and forth about whether or not whether or not uh, either to move out of a marriage and move towards somebody else or move towards independence. But there's a sense of of peace coming after this communication has been made and it may be that you feel comfortable being on your own right now you know when you look at this queen of swords and this king of pentacles they're both looking in different directions So this is air and earth. The Queen of Swords has her sword to an, uh, an angle going backwards towards the past. And the, King of so and the King of Pentacles is looking right at his pentacle, looking at the future. I'm not feeling these two together right now. I'm not saying that they, they can't get together, but I feel like they're not on the same page right now for whatever reason. She's looking back at temperance, which again is a, a very peaceful energy, healing energy. I'm going to I'm going to clarify the the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords and the 8 of Wands. I'm going to clarify the 8 of Wands first. Cuz I want to see what this communication could be about. I don't feel like I have quite enough information. Death this communication is about either the end of a marriage or the end of some type of cycle that two people have gone through and it might not be it might not be you it might be this king of pentacles has potentially ended a marriage or a relationship and is coming to you to talk about it and that is why you're in a potentially in a, a position where you're going between your your head and your heart I don't know if you were ready for that or you're ready to hear that information 
you know, it might have been very comfortable for you to have this other person, this King of Pentacles, attached to somebody else. And then you got to ask yourself why that would be. All right, but I think this King of Pentacles is coming in to tell you, or vice versa, that something has ended. And with you looking back at this temperance card, that that might bring you that might bring you peace. Clarifying the Queen of Swords, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, that's helpful. So by this person ending a relationship or a situation or something that's ended that they're going to communicate about could bring you peace with the Ten of Pentacles, which is complete and full abundance in resources. That could be time, money, freedom. Four of Wands is, again, could be uh, the marriage card. So you could be moving towards, towards marriage with this, this person coming in. Or just building a solid foundation of some sort. This also can indicate a, a divine connection. Twin flames for some of you. Wow. Okay, so clarifying the King of Pentacles, wish fulfilled with the star, the angel of hope. So this story is definitely coming together here. This is about a relationship or marriage that has ended or a situation that has ended. It has what I'm seeing more now is that this King of Pentacles was probably in this Three of Swords with this heartache, or it could have been you. Somebody's leaving a marriage. Somebody has heartache over it. Somebody could be conflicted about, you know, making a head over heart decision towards somebody new, potentially you. You've been through a lot in the sense that, you know, maybe this situation has been going on for quite some time and you've been waiting for this uh, partic particular king but either you see this king as your your wish fulfilled or the king sees you as the star and his wish fulfilled for some reason i think it's the king for some reason, I'm feeling like you have trepidation about this. But you're going to speak your truth about it. You may just not be ready. You may just not be ready. And that's okay. But I feel like this king is going to come in guns a-blazing. Let me get um, let me get the romance angel cards to validate for us what may be going on here.
Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, I think that goes along with, um, with what this king potentially m may have been going through with this Three of Swords. And potentially, you, you know, there might be some fear moving forward with you or with however they're moving forward. But this definitely with the, with the death card, with the death card and the star card, something has ended or is transforming and this king of pentacles is moving towards what he believes or she believes is his wish fulfilled, which could be you in this Ten of Pentacles energy. But for whatever reason, I'm just feeling like you're, you have trepidation about this. We got the true love card. Somebody feels true love. It's weird because I get a strong feeling that, you know, we've got marriage, we've got peace, we've got ten of pentacles, and you're looking at you're looking back on that. You're not looking forward. You very well may see all of this as absolutely what you want. And I can't really explain to you why I'm feeling so strongly that maybe it's because you, you have appeared to this person that you want this and you're fluctuating now because it's almost like it could be too good to be true and maybe you're like, can I really have all this? Maybe that's the energy that I'm picking up on with this. It could be a too good to be true energy. But I feel very strongly in this energy that this king, whoever he is or she is, has very solid feelings for this energy, for this person but he still has some fear moving forward, but he is going to communicate. Eight of Wands. And he may be coming from a distance. I'm just going to, I'm going to pull one more card because you know, and like I said, you know, in the beginning, with this energy of contra contradiction, it, it's it, it's feeling like that again to me now. Because these cards basically tell a, a beautiful story. But this Queen of Swords, I'm feeling like there's there's something there's something off there. Ten of Wands burdens. I'm feeling the burden. <laughs> I'm feeling the burden in this reading because it, there's, um, yeah, there's something here and I cannot put my finger on it. It looks beautiful, but I feel like you are carrying some type of burden around this. And it could be that head or heart decision on your end. 
I'm not sure what that is. Do you see this person as your true love? And you might have when you felt it was safe when he was or she was, you know, what you thought wasn't attainable. So you might be doing, you might be having some of uh, some real inner conflict. It might be, you know, a little bit of commitment issue creeping up on you. Maybe you overpromised or somebody overpromised and now they're wondering if they can really deliver. I don't know. I hope this makes sense to you because I, you know, I I'm just I'm picking up on something. Anyway, that is your reading, Taurus, and um, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day, and I will be doing a, a Valentine's Day reading. So have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you then. Bye.